we're going to construct a frequency polygon. A frequency polygon is a line graph of our midpoints and our frequencies. I've recorded a frequency distribution up here. Um, I constructed this frequency distribution in a previous video that you can go back and watch. Um, and I just pulled the parts that I needed for a frequency polygon um, as we look at this. So on the horizontal axis here are our midpoints and then our vertical axis is going to be our frequencies and that's going to form um, a line graph. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my midpoints on this vertical axis and the variable name of these midpoints is the years. Um, if you saw that frequency distribution video, I, um, I've collected some data, I found some data on um, some pennies and where the years were recorded up to 99. Um, so this was done in 99. So that's what our variable name is. And that's where we're going to label this horizontal axis. And then our vertical axis is our frequency. So I'll label that. And you can think of your first point on the graph as a coordinate point um, using your class midpoint and your frequency of that class. So our first point on our frequency polygon is going to be 68.1. So go ahead and plot that on this coordinate plane. And then our next one will be 73.3. And you can just think of that as you plot these. So it's kind of like a scatter plot, or it is a scatter plot. We'll keep going. 78.4. 83, 4, 88, 6, 93, 10, and then 98, 12. Then we connect the dots for our line graph. Okay, but this is not a polygon. A polygon is a closed figure. So in order to complete this frequency polygon, we need to close it off. And the way we do this is we imagine the class below our classes where before they begin and then where they end. And we know that in those classes, there's zero data values. Um, so right here, there would be zero data values below this class if there was a class that existed here. And then there would be zero data values in this class. And that just closes off and now we have this polygon formed, which is a, a line segmented shape. And I really like polygons that you can see the shape of the graph, so you can really see here that this graph is skewed um, to the left. We always talk about skewedness with the tail, so this one's skewed to the left. 